name is Mike Rice. I'm a member at the CAF Syntex Wing in San Marcos. Uh, my name is Bill Fear, and I've been a member of the Central Texas Wing since 2009. My name is Tim Black, and right now I'm in the Central Texas Wing of the Commemorative Air Force. We maintain and restore historic aircraft. We uh, keep them flying so that the general public can, can see them, feel them, touch them, ride on them, that sort of thing. They're not just static displays. The mission of the Commemorative Air Force is education, preservation, and then demonstration. Preserve the airplanes and then take them out and demonstrate them in uh, front of um, our fellow citizens to keep the, uh, keep the history alive uh, for all generations. Central Texas Wing is a part of the Commemorative Air Force. The Commemorative Air Force is an organization uh, nationwide. It's uh, over 75 locations, 12,000 members. It is a group that seeks to maintain and fly the World War II airplanes with the goal to keep history alive so that our younger generation will know the part that military aviation played in uh, preserving the freedom of pretty much the whole civilized world. The organization has been in San Marcos for about 44 years now, and the city leases a hangar to us. It is the only World War II hangar left on the field of the original San Marcos Army Airfield. The, the building is 1944-43 vintage. It's made out of wood. It has unique sights and smells when you enter it because of the oil and the old airplanes and things like that. We're all volunteers, so there's no pressure. We get along great because we all have the same goal in mind. Cooperation's very good. We're all volunteers. Nobody's paid to be here, so the people that are here are interested in it. So everybody that, that works on the airplane is here because they, they want to be, and uh, the compensation they get is the satisfaction of doing uh, really, really wonderful things to keep these airplanes around for generations to follow. With the World War II Museum and the, and the aircraft that we have in here, uh, it's, it's a popular tourism uh, location for people to come and see. So we try and interact with anybody who comes in and show them around and explain things to them because if you just walk in and see the items and you don't know what they are, it doesn't mean as much as if someone is there to say this airplane is one of two flying in the world with a P-39 for instance. It's always interesting to watch the faces of visitors as they come across the threshold. They have no idea what they're getting into and uh, it's fascinating to them. It's, it's entertaining to watch. Well, to maintain and fly the airplanes, a lot of work goes into it. Uh, our rules are, are FAA rules. In other words, our airplanes are built and maintained in accordance with FAA standards. None of the airplanes are just static. The only reason they're not flying is if they're in maintenance or have a problem or something. But otherwise, we do our dead level best to keep all of them maintained for flying. I'm a mechanic and I work on the aircraft. Each one of them is a FAA registered aircraft and as a result has to have an annual inspection. With a fine tooth comb, uh, an inspector goes through it with a flashlight and a, and a mirror and looks for cracks and, and leaks and problem areas, uh, worn out parts, things of that nature. And then we obviously do things like change the oil and clean the spark plugs and lube and, and grease everything. I take a lot of pride and interest in making sure that the aircraft are operational. Uh, if the airplane comes back with a squawk or a write-up, it's uh, written up and the maintenance guy will look at it and fix the write-up. Uh, there are some parts, if they break, they have to be made again because they are no more. They, they're just not making that part. Uh, it's a very uh, demanding role, if you want, because not everybody is aircraft qualified mechanic. The aircraft are all mechanical, unlike today's smartphones and electronics, these are not largely electrical. They're mostly hydraulic, so very interesting to 
take it apart because there's no electricity involved. It's all grease and, and bolts and cotter pins. We do rides for hire. So if people say, if you wanted to fly in a World War II airplane, it's a small donation just to offset the operating cost of the airplane. This is first time on an airplane at all. But you can fly in a B-25, you can fly in the U-3, you can also fly in the T-6. So if someone were to walk in today and the weather was good and say, hey, I'd like to go for a ride in that airplane, and if we had a pilot available, well, then it would go fly. If you're interested in joining, there is a membership application. Um, very easy, obviously. Go down to your, your nearest unit, and walk in the door and say you're interested. So it doesn't make any difference uh, what you do for a living as long as you have a, a commitment to what uh, these airplanes mean to us in our country, then you're welcome. Come on out here, anybody's welcome. If you can't spell airplane, that is okay. We'll put you to work out here, so please come out here, help us preserve history. And we will certainly find something for you to do, and you'll enjoy doing it. We're here for the greater good. Work together, come to a common cause, and uh, go work on these airplanes and keep them flying.